In the previous video, we introduced a cooperative approach to two-person games. In this video, we consider three or more player games, so-called coalition games. So this is our first example of a three-player game. I call this uh, boss king game. So we have three players and Bob and Carl. Each of them can earn some money and 10 pounds, Bob 20 pounds, or car uh, 0 pound by performing alone. If they form a duo or two person coalition, then they can get 50 pounds by Ann and Bob and 10 pounds by Ann and Carl and 70 pounds by Bob and Carl. And the three person coalition and Bob and Carl, by performing all together, they can make 90 pounds. Such a situation can be described as a coalition game. A coalition game consists of two components, N, set of players, and V, the characteristic function which assigns a real number to each coalition or subset of the set of players. This situation allows transfer of utility. So for each coalition, feasible outcomes are characterized by a single number, the sum of the players payoff. And this is a special class of cooperative game as it does not specify any game rule or player's actions. So the main question in this cooperative game is uh, what would be a fair or desirable allocations? So as I mentioned earlier, so we can describe this situation as coalition games. We have set of players and Bob and Carl, ABC, and a singleton coalition, A. The value of the A, standalone value, is 10, and standalone value of B is 20, and C generates nothing. And by performing together, forming a coalition A and B, they can generate 50 together. That's the sum of the um, payoff of N and B if they form a coalition. And by forming a coalition A and C, they can generate 10 and the coalition, the value of the coalition B and C is 70. And the grand coalition, which is the, the largest coalition, the value of that is 90. An allocation is a three-dimensional vector each component assigns a certain amount of payoff to each player. And we may want to ask what is a desirable location. Let me just remind you of uh, efficiency and individual rationality that we introduced in the last video. An allocation is efficient if no one can be better off without harming the others. And particularly when the payoffs are transferable, an efficient allocation just maximizes the sum of players' payoff. So in the Boskin game, the sum of players' payoff is 90, then any allocation is efficient. And what's the individual rationality? Individual rationality requires each player should get at least what they can get, no matter what others do. So in this situation, N should get at least 10, and Bob should get at least 20, and Carl should get at least 0. So that's the um, individual rationality. Now we are going to consider this three-dimensional space to illustrate the feasible outcomes and the efficient outcomes. So any allocation 
it is the sum of the pairs is uh, 90 then that is efficient so this triangle captures the uh, efficient allocations in this point player a takes all the surplus this point player b takes all the surplus and this point player c takes all the surplus but any um, point in this triangle is uh, efficient uh, what's the individual rationality for player a so player a she can get 10 standalone so this should be guaranteed and any allocation should be individual rational to player A if that is greater than 10. So we can think this triangle in the efficient area is individual rational because any point in this uh, smaller triangle n will get n is to 10 right so this area x a should be bigger than 10 and similarly we can consider player b bob's individual rationality and bob requires n is to 20 so this smaller triangle is uh, um, that they present efficient and individual rational to player B and for C um, C can generate zero by alone so individual rationality requires and it's the zero to player C so this whole triangle efficient area is individual rational to player C when we are interested in efficient allocation, we can plot efficient allocations in this two-dimensional space. That's so-called ternary plot. If you are not familiar with this uh, uh, diagram, then you may want to have a look at this uh, Wikipedia article. So in this triangle, in this efficient area, for N, this area is uh, individual rational and for Bob player B and he requires uh, this area and Carl requires this area so this smaller triangle is uh, efficiency and individual rationality right so any point any allocation in this small triangle is efficient and individual rational. So as before, allocations in this uh, triangle, smaller triangle, those are desirable. That is efficient, there is no waste of money, and each individual should agree that allocation because they cannot be better off by standalone. But still, there are lots of locations in this triangle. So we may want to recommend them a particular allocations in this uh, desirable or reasonable area. So you may want to choose some midpoint, right? That's a kind of a natural um, idea to recommend them to split the surplus. So formally, we can define um, separable value and non-separable value. So individual rationality requires that each player should get at least what, she can, what they can get. So this the sum of the standalone value can be naturally separable to each player. Then the question is how to locate this non-separable part what they can generate all together minus what each player should be guaranteed so this 
amount is what we call the non-separable value. So non-separable value is nothing but this area. And this outer area is separable to each player. So this amount is separable to player B and this amount is separable to player A and there is zero which is separable to C. So anyway, so the main question is how to split the non-separable part and one naive idea is let's split that equally. So that's what we call the equal allocation of a non-separable value. So each player guarantees what they can generate standalone. So this standalone value is guaranteed to player i. And this non-separable part just split equally. So in this uh, um, Boskin game example, so let's think about the uh, equal allocation of non-separable value. So efficiency requires the sum of payoff should be 90. And among 90, 10, 20, 0. 10, 20, 0, what they can generate by a loan should be guaranteed. So those are separable value. And the non-separable value is the difference between the, the value of the grand coalition and the sum of the each player's standalone value. So 90 minus 30. So 60 is non-separable part. So now we are going to split this non-separable part equally. So each player can get 20, 20, 20 on the top of their standalone value. So player 1 get 10 plus 20 and player uh, player B get 20 plus 20 and player C get 0 plus 20. So Anne get 30 and Bob get 40 and Carl get 20. So that's the uh, equal allocation of non-separable value. So by definition, the sum of uh, each player's payoff is 90, right? 30 plus 40 plus 20, that is 90. So this allocation is efficient. And by definition, this is individual rational because each player's share is greater than what they can get by alone.